hot Christmas gift could get you in trouble with the law. Police departments across Greater Cleveland are getting complaints about drones. Rocky River has had so many reports, they're now issuing a warning, and that warning may surprise you. A very popular gift this year. It seems like you could buy one just about anywhere. Walmart, Target, uh, even Walgreens. But drone expert and attorney Matthew Mishak told me no matter where you bought it, there's a to do list attached to that drone that must be checked. Everything that flies up in our national airspace is regulated by the FAA. Before it leaves the ground. If it weighs over half a pound and you're uh, 13 years or older, you need to register the drone. If you're under 13 years of age, your parents need to register it. That's right. Half a pound or more, you have to register the drone, camera or not. Registration costs about $5 online. And drone operators, young and old, that don't follow the rules could be in trouble with the FAA or local police. The fines are no joke. If you don't register it, the FAA can levy fines up to 27500 for civil penalties. There are laws in Ohio that prevent reckless operation of, of an aircraft, and you can face six months in jail and up to a $500 fine for doing that. In suburban communities like Rocky River, police are dealing with dozens of complaints, all since the holidays, about drones flying where they shouldn't be or getting lost and crashing down. They're putting an additional warning out to residents today since the entire city is within five miles of Cleveland Hopkins Airport. If you're in five miles of an airport, um, you need to provide the, air, uh, the airport with notification of your operations. So if you're flying a drone in Rocky River, you're supposed to call Cleveland Hopkins and let them know? Absolutely. The airport actually has a specific phone number available for you to call in. If you're interested in that or more info from the FAA, I put that on our News 5 app.